Hey folks, it's the Red, and welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Huge Adventure No Damage Run! Our next level goes down the hole. And here we are for the fourth time in the jungle theme. This is the last time that the game uses the jungle theme for a new level, but it's not the last time we're going to be seeing it in the game. After all, we do need to return later to Temple of Boom once we have that colored gem. So, not too much to say here at the very beginning, just a few boxes here and there that need to be taken out. And then we have to jump over a very long pit using our double jump. They gave us that ability for a reason, after all. And let's use these TNT crates to, to take out Aku Aku here. I'm sure that's going to trigger a few people. But I was doing that throughout Crash 1, so I don't care. Be careful about where you land here, because there's nothing but spikes directly below where all those boxes are. And uh, speaking of being careful, we also need to jump on top of this stack of crates so that we can get up top to take out these bounce crates. Then we can come down and take out the single box to take out the stack. If you take out the stack first, then you won't be able to use a high jump and double jump in order to get up there. The game tries to make you pay attention to box setups and utilize them before you break them. Also, this is going to look needlessly dangerous. I literally can't get any closer to that Nitro if I tried. <laughs> That's just me being the show-off, as always. I like this uh, little mouth setup here. Really uh, sets the tone going forward. We have a new enemy type up ahead. These uh, lab assistants that shoot blow darts at us. They kind of remind me of the, uh, the lab assistants from Crash 2 on the secret path of Unbearable. The ones that would shoot a musket at you, and these very slow bullets that you had to avoid along the way. It's pretty similar in concept. The difference here is that the bullets they shoot are much faster, but there's also a tell as to when they're about to shoot, which I definitely appreciate. So wait until they're, they've already shot, then jump at them and spin. Just make sure you're not trying to go at them as they are shooting, because that's not going to end very pretty. Also, there's lava directly below us. It will kill you instantly. Be careful of that. Now we need to use our Super Body Slam to take out the purple crates around these steel crates. There's going to be more of that later on. And as you can see here, the lab assistants can, cha can change between standing and squatting in order to shoot darts at you, so be mindful of that. And now, as the title dictates, it's time for us to go down the hole. Taking out these purple crates along the way. Gotta stand on the very edge of this so that we can take it out with our super body slam, but also have enough room to be able to jump and do the body slam. Just try not to put yourself in a position where you need to take out more than one of them. And with that, we're now at the bottom. Eh, 2 out of 10. Castle Machinery did it better. Now, if you didn't take out Aku Aku with TNT at the very beginning, it is possible to come to this section while invincible. And if you do that, well, then you basically trivialize any challenge that this section has to offer. Now, when you bounce on this, make sure you spin into the crash crate, otherwise you're just going to fall straight onto the nitro here, and that's not going to look pretty. You'll see it in the outtakes. But yeah, having invincibility during this part, all you really have are enemies and crates to go through, and Crash could pretty much just bulldoze through all of this. It definitely makes doing the time trial on this level a cakewalk, once you get to this point. But now it's time to go into the bonus! This is a particular bonus that will punish you for acting too hastily to take out certain boxes. You'll see what I mean later on. Not unlike the stack of crates from earlier that we needed to jump on top of to get to the bounce crates. So here we have some outline crates and a crash crate directly above it. We need to bounce on this bounce crate once and then carry on. Take out these wooden crates, but don't hit the exclamation box just yet. Otherwise you'll miss your chance to hit this box. Now we can hit it, and you can see that it would have been blocked off by a steel crate. Go backwards, bounce on this again, and now we can go up and take out the crash crate. Bounce on this bounce crate one more time to get back across, and that's all 21 crates. So yeah, just make sure you're paying attention to the box setups, and you should be able to get out of here while breaking all the boxes at the same time. So now we're pretty much in the home stretch of this level now. 
Uh, just a few enemies that we need to get past now, and we're going to start seeing more of the lab assistants in this last part of the level. And if you were paying attention up here, if you do a high jump, you can see that this is where they're hiding the nitro detonator for this level, behind a leaf in the background. Pretty sneaky place to put that. But now up ahead is the final set of enemies. Three lab assistants and two of these little purple lizard things. Go down and hit the lizards with a spin attack. Try not to bounce on them because that could wind up making you bounce up, back up and into one of the lab assistants' blow darts. Just go wait for this lizard to start going the other way and let's take it out. And with that, we are done here. Here's the gem and the level is finished. And there you go, down the hole is finished. So that one was kind of tricky, particularly towards the end when you have to avoid all the uh, lab assistants and the lizards at the very end. Um, and also the bits where you have to like pay attention to the box setups, that can all throw you off at the, uh, at the, at the very beginning, but once you get accustomed to it, it all becomes pretty second nature. So we do have a few outtakes to check out, and we will get to that, and well, it's time for more great fun as we move on to level 15. Blimp Bonanza, another flying level. And it's gonna be harder than the last one. Ugh. So bear with me as I do my best to try and get through this thing. But for now, here's the outtakes of Down the Hole, and I'll see you next time for this little headache. See you then! And we're going to have more of these spiked lizards. Once again, just be sure to slide into them and they're no problem. And double jump there. See, there's only like a few jumps here and there that you would have to... Ooh! A few jumps that I should make. And you have to slam the crate next to them in order to break them. Rude! Alright, going into the temple, we're going to have... Death, right away. Also, I'm dead! thought you should know. But now we need to head backwards. Bounce on this again. Oh, never mind. I can't aim. Just make sure you're paying attention to when they're shooting. Uh! Oh! But once we go inside, we will instantly die. Anyway, not too much to say here at the very beginning. Just a few boxes here and there. Don't spin into the horned lizards. And inside, we're going to have a... Oh. How many times are we going to meet like this? Um, or rather, spin into these and... What the... I spun into it! I landed on top of it! How did I still take damage? I protest! Careful of this, uh, lab assistant that will suddenly... <sighs> sure, just run right into it, why not? 